Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about a time a time that happened with my friends at camp. So, I'm a normal kid. I go to camp like everybody else does. And so there's this one kid. I'll name him Yoda for the sake of this video. Yoda used to be like their friends. I was obviously not there the first day, so I didn't get to meet no Yoda very much. But what happened with Yoda and them, I didn't really get to know. But he used to get very mad when they won a game in basketball. So it was a basketball camp. And when they won a game, he would always get mad about the Sometimes even be very rude that people didn't want to hang out with him. And so what happened what happened with him was I came in when they weren't, you know, friends anymore. And I was like, why you guys gotta be so rude to him? And they're like, they told me about this, how it happened. And I understood it, and they're my friends, so I would obviously be with them, you know? So I totally respect their decisions on, you know, why they would hate him. But the things he does is, like, very mean. He get he has anger issues, and sometimes I do too, but his are, like, he actually inflicts anger on other people when they didn't even do anything. And so... This one time, when we were at, when we were playing games, you know, we saw him, and my friend, I'll call him Crispy, what happened was, Crispy wanted to show me him, so he was showing me him, and yeah. When he was showing me the him, he was telling me, all right, so he showed me him. He told me he wanted to 1v1 him to show him who's better at basketball. Yoda always, you know, called him trash and stuff. So, uh, you know, I don't take that. But Yoda was literally too scared to actually do it. Because we have this friend. And this friend, he is a very good basketball player. Like, he's probably going places. So, yeah. And he's pretty strong, too. But that defeats the point. We'll call him Giomi. So, Giomi had a very, like, hard relationship with Yoda. Yoda, like, since he did all these terrible things, they didn't like each other. So, this other day, when I was there... <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, Yoda was 1v1-ing this girl, right? She's a pretty good at basketball. And he got crossed over so hard, he slid across. And another day, the counselor, it was so bad that the counselor had to talk about it. And literally get him, <laughs> like, it was probably so embarrassing to him. Because of, like, he said it in front of everybody, like, how big the crossover was. He didn't say it to a specific person. But after this day, something happened. When Yoda, um, when we went to a different gym to practice, you know, basketball, Yoda, when he lost, I mean, this guy and him were probably talking. And what happened was he probably got mad when they were talking because he was, the guy was probably joking around. So he called... Since the guy was African American, he called him black as the S H word. Yeah, that that word. Like, but he could roast him. He even told me he could roast me, but he can't, like, you know, say something racist like that. So when he did. It angered a lot of people in the community of basketball where we were playing. So, at that point, no one really liked him. The girls he was friends with were talking about it. The boys. People who didn't even know him talked about it. And before how they were pulling pranks on him, 
and I didn't feel comfortable about it because, you know, I had no beef with this guy. Now I have beef with this guy because this guy's being racist for no good reason at all. And, you know, don't be racist. That's it's a very terrible thing to do. So <laughs> when this happened, you know, they kept doing it. And I broke his freaking ankles. I'm pretty sure what happened was, like, um... When we were doing it again, the um, basketball, when we were doing games, we beat him hard, and he barely even got the ball once. So, yeah. There he already gets what he deserves. But after this day, when we leave this gym, the guy, I'll call him Evie. So, what happened was Evie, the guy that got called, you know... A racist term was there and they were having a roast battle you know a friendly one when me and crispy have a roast battle you know we're friendly with each other we always make up afterwards because it's jokes but and I think Evie thought it was jokes too so he went all out when I say all out I mean like all out so when he did that Yoda took off his bag I kid you not, he took off his bag on the ground, and I heard this loud thumping noise. You know why? Because Yoda pushed Evie into the locker. Not once, but twice. Now, this really shouldn't be going on, because, you know, the counselor should be getting involved in this while we're in the hallway, but they probably thought someone just fell but it happened so quickly they didn't really have time to react but so anyways back to the story what happened was um when he got hit the thing that evie did was hilarious so you know how jordan how he's known for his dunking and he's a legendary basketball player who owns nice shoes and everything and who smokes cigars you know that guy yeah so what Evie did was he dunked on Yoda, like hard. He jumped off his shoulder, and once he did, I kid you not, once he jumped off his soldier, shoulder, he, uh, what he did was he did the Jordan pose, and he almost went over him. He almost bring Yoda to the ground. And that was a very, you know, nice way of attacking somebody, basically. Because you're dunking on them. With, and everybody was laughing. Like, everybody was booing, you know, Yoda. And it may seem like he's being bullied here. And I used to think he was just getting bullied by, you know, my friends. Because my friends don't have a great history of being, you know, nice to people. But... He was racist and everything, so he really does, you know, deserve that. So, <laughs> he got dumped on so hard, he fell to the floor. And that whole day, he was sat out eating candy, like, at a concession stand. Like, those stands that you get to the candy from. Yeah, he was, he was at one of those. And... When the day was over, like, I suggested we rocked him as a baby. Hold on. I, I, you guys know that, like, rocking thing that pro basketball players used to do. They, they rocked their opponents like babies and stuff. Yeah. So, we did that a bunch of times to him. And we even got told on by him that it was too mean. But, he was, like, there... And I said, let's go get water to rock him. And they said, no, we would get in trouble. Which was reasonable. But after what he did, I don't care if I get in trouble. He just should get what he deserves. And it was very satisfying for that, that day. So when this all happened, I was hyped. Now, of course, like... He was upset the whole day. It, we probably ruined his day and stuff. 
but like he deserved everything that he got that's all i'm saying everything that was dealt to him was deserved from him for him <sighs> so yeah i mean when everything was over the next day i wasn't there but I'm pretty sure that, you know, bad stuff probably happened. Because Yoda was probably not happy at all. He got embarrassed in front of everybody, getting dunked on. And I kid you not, the guy did the Michael Jordan pose over his head. So that was probably embarrassing for him to happen to him. He didn't want to get dunked on by freaking Jordan. So, yeah, he was, like, mad. Probably yesterday, but I wasn't there, so I couldn't tell you. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.